internal diodes these are semiconductor devices pn junction devices two terminal devices these are also called isaki diodes in the name of its inventor isaki these are called tunnel diodes for the reason that they depend for their operation on a phenomena or effect quantum mechanical effect called tunneling in tunneling what happens is a particle can move can pierce through the barrier and finds itself on the other side even when it doesn't have necessary sufficient energy to move to the other side to jump to the other side from this side for this reason tunnel diodes are called tunnel diodes important feature most significant feature of tunnel diodes is that they exhibit negative resistance dynamic negative resistance negative resistance indicates generation positive resistance indicates dissipation hence as these devices exhibit negative resistance they can be used they are used to generate signals particularly high frequency like microwaves signals these devices require forward biosing under forward bios up to certain voltage their behavior is very much similar to the behavior of ordinary diode diodes after that or beyond that point this point is called peak voltage point beyond this point the diode starts exhibiting negative resistance dynamic negative resistance until the voltage reaches another point this point is called valley voltage point so the diode is capable of dynamic negative resistance and hence signal generation or signal amplification when the applied voltage is forward biased voltage is between peak voltage and valley voltage beyond val valley voltage of course again the diode starts exhibiting positive dynamic resistance structurally tunnel diodes they require heavy impurity concentrations and as a consequence they are associated with very small 
junction width in fact tunneling is possible only when barrier width or junction width is small it becomes tunneling phenomena it becomes more and more possible only when junction widths are lesser and lesser for this reason one cannot find tunneling in ordinary diodes special diodes tunnel diodes series on semiconductor devices and circuits lecture number 2.27 tunnel diodes are semiconductor pn junction diodes they are well known and widely used for their property of negative resistance dynamic negative resistance positive resistance indicates dissipation or conversion of electricity into heat whereas negative resistance indicates generation generation of a signal hence these diodes because of their uh, negative resistance they are used in uh, amplifiers and oscillators at uh, microwave frequencies with this small introduction about tunnel diodes now we move to the core session where we focus on the structural features materials used properties pi characteristics etc pertaining to tunnel diodes we start uh, the session with uh, a few points regarding uh, the background historical background of these diodes tunnel diodes these are also known as isaki diodes because uh, they are invented by riona isaki uh, these are a type of uh, semiconductor devices capable of very fast and high frequency operation well into microwave frequency region as already mentioned invented uh, by riona isaki in 1957 these are notable for their dynamic negative resistance as already mentioned negative resistance implies generation or creation of signal whereas positive resistance indicates a dissipation conversion into heat hence negative resistance devices they are uh, required whenever we want to generate a signal like in uh, oscillators or whenever we want to strengthen a signal like in amplifiers these diodes as already mentioned they are widely used in microwave oscillators and microwave amplifiers these diodes are also well known for their longevity as devices made in the 1960s they are still in function the principle behind their functioning is a quantum mechanical effect this effect is called tunneling and hence these devices are called tunnel diodes as already mentioned these are well known for their dynamic negative resistance notice it is dynamic resistance that is negative not static static resistance is always positive till now there is no device invented with negative static resistance so static resistance means it is always positive but dynamic resistance can be positive or negative this diode exhibits negative resistance dynamic negative resistance because of this negative resistance property they can be viewed as zener diodes with breakdown voltage reduced to 0 volts they are usually made from germanium can also be made from gallium arsenide and silicon materials 
Here are three points which are to be noted uh, in this slide. Or uh, one is it is a device whose functioning is based on a tunneling phenomena. Tunneling phenomena is quantum mechanical phenomena. Second point is it exhibits dynamic negative resistance and it is related to Jener diodes. These can be tunnel diodes can be viewed as Jener diodes with breakdown voltage zero. Germanium is usually used but they can also be made from gallium arsenide and silicon semiconductors. Symbol is shown here. Ordinary diode symbol modified by adding two small straight line pieces towards anode. In A symbol is shown, in B is shown small signal equivalent circuit. RS LS they indicate series resistance, series inductance. They may be of uh, leads diode leads and it exhibits negative resistance that resistance is indicated by minus or a capacitance is also indicated in the equivalent circuit tunnel diodes are operated in forward biased mode when diode is under forward biased it exhibits a capacitance, diffusion capacitance. This capacitance is not negligible, so we have to take it into consideration. C indicates the capacitance of the diode. PI characteristics. Here is a shown V over horizontal axis, I over vertical axis. Notice with increase in voltage in forward direction, current is increasing until V reaches VP and current of course reaches IP. If you increase the voltage further, current starts falling. So this is your negative resistance region, region that exists between VP, actually VP stands for V peak, VV means V valley. After VB, further increase in applied voltage leads to increase in current. So before VP, increase in voltage rises the current. After VV also increase in voltage rises the current. So these two are positive resistance regions, whereas in between VP and VV, it is negative resistance region. So it is operated whenever we want dynamic res negative resistance to work for us, we have to operate the device in between VP and VB. Some points regarding tunnel diodes. These diodes are characterized by higher levels of impurity concentration and consequently lower levels of uh, barrier widths. Impurity concentration is more than 10 power 19 per cm cube or one part in 10 power 3, very high, leading to degeneracy. And as a consequence, width of junction barrier becomes less than 100 angstroms or 10 power minus 8 meters. So barrier width is very small. Impurity concentration levels are very high. The equivalent circuit of tunnel diode consists of a parallel combination of negative resistance minus Rn with a junction capacitance C in series with a series combination of lead ohmic resistance and lead inductance. About the equivalent circuit we have already discussed in the previous slide. For small forward bias voltages, the forward current keeps on increasing with the voltage and attains a peak value known as peak point current IP at some specific forward bias voltage VP known as peak point voltage. So peak point current, peak point voltage. Until this voltage is reached, it is positive resistance diode. After that, negative resistance region or characteristic starts. 
it corresponds to maximum forward tunneling for further increase in voltage the current starts dropping reaches a minimum value ib known as valley point current at another specific voltage known as valley point voltage so from zero to vp peak point voltage it is positive resistance property or characteristic from vp to vv valley point voltage it is negative resistance region negative resistance characteristic negative resistance behavior with the further increase in voltage the current starts increasing setting in the region of positive differential resistance the voltage vf known as forward peak point voltage is the voltage corresponding to the point on the characteristic where the current is equal to maximum specified peak point current vp vv vf these are all uh, indicated on the characteristic shown in a, in a previous slide the ratio of the peak point to the valley point currents peak point current to valley point current this is considered as a figure of merit for the diode its typical value is equal to 3.5 for silicon 8 for germanium 15 for gallium arsenide so so if we go as per this figure of merit gallium arsenide is the best when compared to either germanium or silicon and uh, germanium is uh, a better one when compared to silicon for this reason most commercially available tunnel diodes are made uh, either from germanium or gallium arsenide using silicon it is also difficult to manufacture tunnel diodes capable of giving a high ratio of peak to valley current gallium arsenide has the highest ratio ip by iv and largest voltage swing nearly equal to 1 volt some more points regarding the performance of tunnel diodes the peak point current of the diode is determined by the etching process it can be held within plus or minus 2.5% or better on a production basis however the voltage at the peak point valley point and forward points these voltages are determined by semiconductor material and are largely fixed for germanium these voltages are 55 350 500 millivolts respectively at room temperatures typical values for germanium the magnitude of the negative resistance is equal to the slope dv by di of the voltage current characteristic for 1 milliampere germanium diode the negative resistance lies in between 100 and 160 ohm the current in the vi characteristic can be considered as consisting of three components Tunneling component, ordinary diode current given by Shockley current equation. Third component, it is called excess current. It also contributes to the overall current within the diode. It is a result of tunneling through bulk states in the energy gap and its presence makes the valley current never, never to zero. Now, certain uh, special aspects of tunnel diodes energy band diagrams the energy band diagram of tunnel diodes shows some marked differences with that of ordinary diodes what are those differences the fermi level in tunnel diodes always lies outside the forbidden energy gap an important point always to be kept in mind regarding tunnel diodes. As a result of heavy doping concentration on the N side, it lies in the conduction band and on the P side, it lies in the valency band, not uh, in forbidden energy gap. 
the contact difference of potential E0 is more than forbidden gap energy Eg internal diode. E0 is more than Eg. Now, sometime we spend on applications of tunnel diodes. Applications for tunnel diodes includes local oscillators for UHF. UHF stands for ultra high frequency band. UHF television tuners trigger circuits in oscilloscopes, high speed counter circuits, and very fast rise time pulse generator circuits. Low noise microwave amplifiers can be designed with these diodes. They are used in frequency converters and detectors in microwave amplifiers and also as high speed switches. They are also used in the design of oscillators, amplifiers and in switching circuits using hysteresis. Some advantages, benefits when we use tunnel diode, diodes, they are given here. The main advantages, advantages of these devices are low cost, low noise, low power, high speed. Notice high speed, low noise. Of course, low power is not beneficial or benefit. But uh, here, low power means it requires little power for its uh, operation. Power requirement to its operation is low. If we consider that way, it is a benefit. It is a plus point. But if we consider it as a low power device, then it is a negative aspect. Its inability to handle higher powers naturally is a negative aspect. Also, it has been found that tunnel diodes are less sensitive to nuclear radiation when compared to transistors. This makes them well suited for higher radiation environments such as those found in space. Their disadvantages include low output swing and another disadvantage is they are two terminal devices. Two terminal device means output circuit, input circuit. Between these two, there is less isolation, less separation. It leads to certain serious operational problems. Tunnel diodes exhibit certain limitations. The tunnel diode showed great promise as an oscillator and high frequency trigger device since uh, it operated at frequencies far greater frequencies well into microwave bands. However, since its discovery, more conventional semiconductor devices have surpassed its performance using conventional oscillator techniques. Being a two terminal device is a serious disadvantage with the tunnel diode. For many purposes, a three terminal device such as a field effect transistor is more flexible than a device with only two terminals. Three terminal devices provide are capable of providing better isolation between output and input than two terminal devices. So they are three terminal devices are less prone to spurious oscillations than single sorry two terminal devices. Tunnel diode being a two terminal device it has that uh, serious disadvantage being prone to spurious oscillations. Practical diodes operate <coughs> at a few milliamperes and a few tenths of a volt making them low power devices. The gun diode has a similar high frequency capability and can handle more power. This is also a limitation. These diodes are susceptible to damage by overheating and thus special care is needed when soldering them. These are all uh, serious uh, <coughs> drawbacks, serious uh, limitations pertaining to tunnel diodes. Now we consider another class of uh, diodes. They are uh, related to tunnel diodes. These are called backward diodes. When used in the reverse direction, 
tunnel diodes are called back diodes or backward diode so it is a tunnel diode back diode is a tunnel diode operated in reverse direction under reverse bias the back diode characteristic curve can be obtained by flipping the tunnel diode character curve interchanging the quadrants 3 and 4 they can act as fast rectifiers with zero offset voltage and extreme linearity for power signal they have an accurate square law characteristic in the reverse direction under reverse bias filled states on the p side become increasingly aligned with empty states on the n side and electrons now tunnel through the pn junction bed in reverse direction <clears throat> in this diagram is shown a comparison of back diode with the ordinary diode in a with the tunnel diode in b this is back diode continuous line this is this continuous line represents conventional diode characters in b is shown tunnel diode backward some more points regarding backward diodes from the vi graph of uh, tunnel diode when voltage is applied to diode in reverse direction a large current flows which increases continuously as the voltage is increased if a negative voltage of magnitude equal to valley point voltage is applied the resulting current is many hundreds of times more than the current that results when this voltage is applied in forward direction this a huge change in current with the polarity of the applied voltage is taken advantage in the operation of backward diode the term signifies the fact that the diode conducts heavily under reverse bias than in forward bias some more points regarding backward diode <clears throat> they have lower voltage drop at a given current when compared to ordinary diodes this low forward drop is highly beneficial in a tunnel diode and some transistor circuit backward diodes are designed to have very low less than 50 micro amperes peak point currents as forward current is undesirable in these diodes for the same reasons that leakage current with reverse bias is wanted in ordinary diodes with this we come to the end of this session before closing let us recollect the important topics we touched upon in this session a small introduction to tunnel diodes it is given and then its features constructional features fabrication details along with the vi characteristics and their applications all are given hope this session is useful to you we meet again in another session with a new topic soon mm -hmm.